this is Dr. Janet Bruno here, and today I want to talk about the link between colorectal cancer and meat consumption. Now, you've undoubtedly heard that colon cancer is a leading cause of cancer deaths worldwide, and I just want to share how important it is for you to realize you have a lot more control over this than you may know. You see, the high consumption of red meat has been strongly linked to a significant increase in the risk of contracting colon cancer. Research has actually shown that a diet high in saturated fat and refined sugar are major contributors to an increased risk in colon cancer. Now, research that was done at Harvard University showed a positive link between red meat and colon cancer. So people with diets that include daily servings of lamb, pork, or beef run the risk of getting colon cancer at a rate about three times higher than people who don't consume red meat. And that's pretty significant. In a review covering the vast collections of studies, including 13 what's called cohort studies and 32 case controls, um, it's basically scientific jargon knowing that the studies were done correctly with correct and equal groups of people, this confirmed the connection between red uh, red meat consumption and increased colon cancer risk. And the review also showed that the risk was consistently higher when the meat consumed was processed red meat. So it really depends on the type as well. Now a cancer prevention study released very recently showed a 30 to 40 percent increase in risk for many types of cancers for the groups of people who have the highest red meat consumption. It actually showed a 50-50% increase for the group with the highest processed meat consumption. Now the increases are in relation to groups with the much lower intake of both red meat and processed meat, and then groups with higher and higher levels of intake of meat. And for the particular study I'm talking about, they had some parameters. So a high level of daily red meat intake was equivalent to about three ounces of beef, pork, or lamb for men, or about two ounces of beef, pork, or lamb for women. And just so you know, this is roughly the amount of meat in an average hamburger. So these were considered the high intake. And then the high level processed meat intake, defined processed meat was defined as hot dogs, sausage, bacon, cold cuts, or ham. And that was defined as having one ounce serving five or six times a week for men, or two to three times a week for women. And just for measurement purposes, a one ounce serving is roughly like one slice of ham. Okay, and that's what the study parameters were. And they showed very strongly that the link of red meat and processed meat was very directly linked to cancer. And there were studies actually done at an earlier time that showed that people who consumed white meat, very specifically chicken, had a colon cancer that was three times higher than that of vegetarians. So even eating chicken, which many people think is quite safe, actually that has been shown that that also will increase the risk of colon cancer. Now there's another aspect of this I want to share with briefly without getting technical. There's some evidence to suggest that what's called secondary bile acids also contrib contributes to the cancer risk. Now, fat in diet requires liver, the, your liver, to secrete bile in order to absorb the fat. Now, the bile your body produces is actually kept in the gallbladder, and it's sent to the intestine after a meal. Now, the bile acids proceed to digest the dietary fat, and they reduce it into a form that the body can absorb. But the problem is the intestinal flora and bacteria, which everyone has, they transform the bile acids into what's called secondary bile acids. And these are known to be carcinogens. They are known to be cancer-causing agents. So in other words, the dietary meat hits the body with a double whammy. <laughs> One of them is it significantly increased the amount of fat added to the diet. And then the second thing, it facilitates the multiplication of this bacteria which is responsible for making these cancer-causing substances known as secondary bile acids. So truly, in summary, I gave you a lot of information here. I really, really want to boil it down just to say the bottom line is there's very convincing evidence that red meat consumption will indeed increase your risk of colon cancer. 
And like I said, colon cancer is one of the leading causes of cancer deaths worldwide. So I truly encourage you to take the control that you do have and adopt a diet that's free from red meat and actually free from white meat as well as, as was proven. So not only will you significantly reduce your risk of colon cancer, but you're going to get a tremendous number of other wonderful health benefits as well. So I hope you found this useful. This is Dr. Janet Bruno wishing you a happy and healthy day.